Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a strop. A strop is basically the inside of a piece of leather glued onto board and with a little rubbing compound. It is for keeping a nice sharp edge on your, your tools. So this is one I made about 15 years ago. I don't use it all that often so it's still in pretty good shape. As you can see, I just used a piece of binder's board. You could use MDF, you could use, you could use wood, whatever's at hand. And we're going to use some, just some cow leather that I have lying around. Still don't know where I got it. And so we've got a piece of leather, we've got our binder's board, and we've got our ever popular PVA. So. And then we've got some rubbing compound. Rubbing compound you can find in your hardware store, your automotive store. Comes in many, many different kinds. We're only going to use about half a teaspoon, so it doesn't really matter. So first thing we're going to do is attach that to that. As we've said before, with glue, less is more. Use a lot, you have to wait longer for it to dry. Use a little. There you go, works just as well. And there we go. Just smooth that out bone folder. You see you want that rough nap. It's eventually going to wear down. I don't know if you can see this. And it's going to become very smooth. You can't see that, can you? So, now that this is attached, you might want to let this dry under weight. So we have our Book cloth coated brick, a staple of the binder. And now we come back, we take that off. If you lose, use so much glue, it doesn't take that long. And now we're going to trim that off, edges off. I don't have my cutting board, we'll use this. I'll use my work knife. a good edge. First drop I ever made was shown to me by Sam Allenport at the Harcourt Bindery in Boston, Massachusetts about 15 years ago. And I still have it. And I still use it. Okay, throw that away. Like that. And there we have it. So now we put a little rubbing compound. Kind of comes in a tube, might be a little easier to use. Since we're going to use that much, it might even be too much. That's it. It's all you need, and it's you never have to put that on again. Rubbing compound has an abrasive in it. When you first touch it, it feels like makeup, very smooth cream, but the, it's actually very powerful like sandpaper. It's used for polishing metal, which is actually not getting scratches out, putting more scratches on except to make them all uniform. There we go. Nice little mess we made. So now we can use it. Uh, as I said, this had a it's had a good sharp honed edge. It's gonna take a while for this to look like that, but it'll get there. Okay, I don't you can't see this. I need a better. It has a much sharper edge on that side. 
and we'll turn it around and do this side. Work the rubbing compound into it at the same time. And now we have a nice edge. That's one way to do it. As long as you keep that 20 degree angle. Nice, sharp edge.